what up guys i just wanted to make a video addressing basically everything i have done to my gti uh it would just you know alleviate any questions anything that anyone wants to ask they could just leave them in this video uh, it would just make things easier so uh first i'll start off with the shift knob um this is just a boomba racing weighted shift knob it's like the heaviest shift knob they make this all used to have pretty much paint on it but <laughs> everything's been basically worn off it did used to say boomba all around here but as you can see it's like super faint pretty much worn off there's also you know supposed to be a shifter boot here but i took all that out um when i repainted this i just never put it back in just rocked at this anyway and i was oiling all that anyway so um even though like there's you know eons of dog hair all in that as well as the rest of the car but you know we won't talk about that um same thing i did all this accenting um on all my vents basically also euro swap the mirrors so they're blue um i'm running a stage two sneaky tune uh pro tune basically um so that's that um that's pretty much everything that's in the car and uh we'll move to the outside so a side note for safety uh not many people ever mention this i have a full-fledged like apartment uh fire extinguisher basically one that again you would get out of like industrial building again apartment complexes etc etc um i always keep it under the driver's seat just because if you know there's an accident my car catches on fire i'm gonna be the first person to put that shit out not the fire department so i just want to be able to have access to that always have it in a reachable spot don't put it in the back seat don't but don't even put it under the passenger seat really driver's seat best place um and we'll go under the hood so under here i have a cob sf intake um, I also have an ARM catless downpipe, if you can see, down back in there. <laughs> Botched this out. Very nice and pretty, by the way. <laughs> Running uh, APR ignition coils with uh, iridium spark plugs. Got um, ARM turbo outlet pipe. Also have a compact turbo smart diverter that's in here. Which you obviously can't see. Um, got the sticker on there. Also have a stage two DKM clutch. Um, another thing you can't see that I have on here is a Torque Solutions dog bone, uh, like rear engine mount with the 034 Motorsport bushing insert. And then um, in terms of like wheels, I'm just running stock wheels. Um, I did the vinyl wrap myself on all the wheels. Um, but we're running CTS turbo spacers, and this is actually 15 mil in the front. And this is how this looks. That's not the flush kit. Um, and then the back is 20 mil. Um, and same thing. You get just a little bit of a poke, but it's just because whenever I go to lower the car, I want like that super, super, super flush. Um, which this is definitely going to give me. In terms of exhaust, I'm on a Rev9 uh, muffler delete cat back. It just pretty much has a high airflow cat that's like right here. And then it just exits. So I have one cat, even though it looks like I have two. I actually have one. The pinstriping, by the way, came on the car when I bought it. Um, guy named Gary did it out in Long Island for anyone um gary the local brush i'll put his instagram tag but he's never on instagram so um good luck trying to message him but yeah i have this vinyl set up on all four wheels um you know just to give that rtr look <laughs> even though it's a volkswagen but yeah other than that everything's pretty much stock um and that's pretty much my car so Again, any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and uh, as always, peace, guys.